coming to you live and uncensored. This is the Hype Podcast. I'm Oso oh Fresh with my co host, yet to be named. That's me. We talk about everything from new gadgets, gizmos, politics, movies, and music. And our very own personal stories, because you know a motherfucker has to keep it real. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna blow it up because I just quit another job. <laughs> Again? What do you mean another one? <laughs> I quit more jobs. Dude, you quit more jobs than I've had in my entire life. <laughs> I know, in the last two years. What, what oh, job did oh, you quit? Oh, no, I'm not quitting this one, so you, you started off. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the Hype Podcast. I'm the host of No Name. I'm DJ Oso Fresh. And we're kicking it with you every single week right here on the Hype. And um, life lesson number one today is uh, don't quit as many jobs as Oso Fresh unless you can afford it. What job did you fucking quit? I quit working at the, the Rose Garden. I thought you quit doing that months ago. No, I planned to quit. And then uh, I, I finally was just like, they wanted to schedule for November. And I was just like, I know I can't make all these fucking dates. Because they want you to work a lot, which is good, you know. Sure. But they want you to work probably, if there's you're supposed to sign up for about 70% of the events. In November, it's going to be fucking cracking. Yeah. And they're probably going to be 15, 20 different events I can sign up for. Right. And uh, I have to sign up for seventy percent of those, and I might get fifty percent of those. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I've got to pause your fucking story. Is that? Do I spy a new phone? Is that thing fixed finally? I'll get to that in a second. <laughs> I'll get to that. In a second. Oh my god! I'll get to that in a second. So they want you to work all these goddamn events, but your events conflict with nights that I can make good money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> so I mean the whole thing with the with that I would have loved to continue working there I liked working the Blazer games the staff or whatever it's it's total meditation cause you you get in there you report at 5 okay. you're at your spot by like 5 10 yeah. the doors don't open till 6 so you're just basically meditating you're just chilling. You can't. You can't be on your phone. You can't do shit. You you just no sitting no there. words no words with friends. Nothing. I mean, no words with friends. I mean, sometimes you can wander around a little bit. Maybe maybe you get lucky and be talking to some of the security guards or something. But other than that, now nah, you're standing there listening to the, the mighty OG one in the mix. But anyway, <laughs> so I I quit and you know it was nice because they were like, oh, we're sorry you're leaving. Yeah, thanks. Cool. Glad to. Oh, hear so it. you actually quit? Quit? Like you're just not you're just not gonna stop showing up. Oh, I don't do that. <laughs> okay. I never do that. No, I give good notice. Usually I give people about three weeks to a month. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I tell people I intend to get the fuck out of here. Like, <laughs> it no, is my- you, that's one thing you could check with all my employers. <laughs> Yo, I will tell you a month in advance that I am getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> this is a well-planned sequence of events. Where are you going? I don't know. I just know I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> where, where am I going? The fuck out of here. I just don't want to be here. And you know what? I, I tend to do all right, so... I'm just going to put it in God's hands right now. <laughs> I just know that I'm going to strangle a motherfucker if I show up and work here again. So, you know what I'm saying? We're, I'm, doing myself above, I'm doing myself and the public a service because you do not want to be paying 50 grand a year to keep me inside the jail. Anyway, now I can communicate and that does bring my stress level down because I did get a new iPhone. I forgot to mention it last week. Actually, I did not get a new iPhone. I got the same goddamn iPhone, but the these motherfuckers replace the screen and I said hey they're like hey we gotta wipe your dad I was like why uh cause for security I, I, I'm, I'm secure enough I just don't want you <laughs> I'm secure enough I don't care I mean you got what you just gonna see pictures of big booty hoes cool I mean, whatever I mean shit if you could take her she wasn't mine anyway yeah. so, so, <laughs> so you know I go back in there and uh iCloud Whoever has an iPhone, you guys probably know this fucking hassle. iCloud was down, so my shit wouldn't download to the phone. So this motherfucker goes, oh, yeah, just start it up, blah, blah, blah. Because it, as stupid as these devices have become, the phone told me that I needed to read the code that popped up on my computer at home. <laughs> 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 and I said fuck that that's just not gonna work so I get I said okay well fuck it alright I'll just log in new phone fuck it it's no big thing you know I can just dupe everything over later or what? it's no big, D, big deal I walk out 
I'm walking to my car and I'm like, this motherfucker still ain't logging on or fucking working. Fuck no. I'm not leaving this motherfucker without my phone working because I drove from my house to Beaverton. No, I didn't have shit to do out there that day. I put 30 miles one way on my car to get there. No, I was not walking out of that shopping center without my goddamn phone working. You guys oh, can't see it right now. You might be able to hear it, but Oso is talking with his hands and his feet. So if yeah, you hear yeah. like tapping and thudding, he is I, 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 I should be thudding on the fucking microphone because I needed my shit working before I leave the proximity of this place because I have spent about four hours hours fucking with you if i you know what i could have ordered the tools and just said give me the goddamn screen and fucking got some i got i got crazy glue up in this motherfucker we'll put it back together so i go back in there and he goes oh no icloud is down oh okay so i can't load my shit wait, anyway. wait a minute wait a minute icloud like is that like the whole thing yeah the whole fucking thing's like down like the sky is falling <laughs> this shit wasn't going on when down. steve jobs was alive <laughs> 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 So I, I do finally get my phone and I do have to say this. You know, I always I always shit on people that I was like, Oh, you can't Oh, you didn't you, you weren't able to just back up your phone and copy it over. They're like, oh nah, nah, nah. I mean, I'm just like this time I did not. I just said, Fuck it, it's a new phone. My contacts automatically came over. Right. Fuck it. So I know everybody's number. I was like, Fuck it, new phone. I got a, I got an old phone full of bullshit out there, <laughs> just floating and, around in the ether. Anything that happened over the last eight nine months, if we were if we became friends in the last eight nine months, or you sent me some important document that I should be reading, it's gone. Just want to let you know. <laughs> yeah, anybody out there, if you said Ozo oh, something important within, the, we'll call it the last year. Well, well, just think about like you know if maybe you sent me over an important piece of music right. or something I really wanted to hear. Well. Look at it this way. If anybody sent you nudes that you weren't supposed to have, there you go. I mean, I could be wild. I could be a rock star. I could I could be living like Freddie Mercury style. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, dude sending you dick pics now? Or what, what the fuck are you, what are you getting at? Uh, uh, you never know. Dude. Hey, hey, what you going to judge me if they was? <laughs> Yes, you yes, said, I am. You yes. said that in a real negative yeah. tone. <laughs> I, that, it, it is. It, 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 I'm not into it, but it's okay for a motherfucker to suck some dick nowadays. Like, <laughs> you can't insult him. Well, well speaking of speaking, I mean, cause, speaking of sucking dick, nice segue, right? I did go and see. I segued that <laughs> about a minute ago, and it was very calm, very smooth. It was, you know, there was no. There was no, there was no anti LGBTQ shit going on in the way I said that. Like, hey, it's about music, but no, go ahead, go go, go to your thing because that was my anti segue. Yeah, I went and saw Queen last night, the movie. Really? Oh, dude, fucking tremendous. Okay, now, you need a better adjective. <laughs> what? What do, you, what do you mean? The movie was fantastic. <laughs> So, are you telling me that Freddie was tremendous, <laughs> dude? Freddie, 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 say it again. Freddie, Fre- was, Freddie, Freddie was fucking tremendous. <laughs> oh, <laughs> how long did it take well, him to stop? Or, <laughs> <laughs> Freddie, well, was, Freddie was on for about an hour and a half. Well, well, now it took him till he was about forty-five years old to stop because that's when it, he died. But you, you let him have you for about an hour and a half, uh, two hours, yeah, a little, yeah. little over two hours, <laughs> and you bought popcorn yeah. while he was doing it. And I had to pee three times. <laughs> 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 And that's all, folks. (laughs) So, so, that just happened. (laughs) Yeah, that did just happen. (laughs) No, I'm, I really like the fucking movie. There's, there was a couple points in it where it kind of just moves your soul. You know, like they go into, the making of the band queen and all this shit. And they kind of depict how the band gets together. It was literally like one of those moments where you kind of just like, Oh, right place, right time. And fucking bam, there you go. And for those who don't know, and I didn't know this till you, till I watched the movie, but you can find it on the internet. Freddie Mercury was like, not the most handsome dude, you know, when he was young. So, he is was living proof that, you know, money can make you fucking beautiful. 
right? Because he had like was like this goofy looking kid with an overbite, and his name was Farouk, like that was his real name. But he went by Freddy because his parents were from like the Middle East, and his Farsi name was Farouk. Really? Yeah. Go fucking figure, right? Boy, he just he just packed it in and rolled with them white boys. Yeah, he just rolled on in. Yeah, right now. There is one part of the movie that I really wanted. I and it's gonna, right, and it's is, gonna is, sound is, weird. Is this a spoiler? No, no, no. Well, well, I mean, it could be. It's okay, but we right. all, but we all know how it ends. You know, AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> show me that smile. Show me that smile. <laughs> no, there, there is one part that I that I really didn't get. Like, they don't tell you when and how he got AIDS. Like what in the movie? One what? day he didn't have AIDS, the next day he does. Okay, let me explain this to you. <laughs> <laughs> when when there's like one possible way for you to get AIDS, when there's no possible way for you to get AIDS, like Arthur Ashe or that little kid back in the '80s that got AIDS from transfusions, okay, they they try and figure that shit out. But if there's four or five possible ways you could have got AIDS. <laughs> They usually just kind of let that go. They, they just sweep like, it under the rug. They're like, somehow, that motherfucker got AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> let me count the ways. <laughs> I, you know, I mean, why waste the time and money? <laughs> they're, like, they're like, well, you got AIDS now. <laughs> you know, you were engaging in risky behavior. Why try and track down which risky behavior? And you know, the thing was, I'm sure he was... He was fucking touring the world. He was like Johnny Appleseed for AIDS. Fuck yeah. that monkey in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> dude, oh, dude, he was delivering AIDS. He, fucking making house calls. <laughs> he, he was on tour delivering. State to state. No, no, but that's what I mean. Like, we, you don't really know, like, the general time frame. Because some, sometimes it takes 10 years for that shit to develop in your body, right? He didn't have that easy eat AIDS. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Yeah, that shit took like 20 minutes and he was yeah. dead. <laughs> yeah. He stood up and said, I got and died. <laughs> he, was, a, he was cooking some minute rice pretty, and didn't that was make it. the shit ever. Yeah, and dude, it really fucking was. He should have just ran out in the street and got shot. Yeah. It's <laughs> like, boom. As soon as they said that just shit, just jump yeah. out in front of a bus, like, fuck it, just as quick. Yeah, he'd he be immortalized like uh, XXX to touch you on. Yeah. <laughs> to touch you on. <laughs> <laughs> and his and his name it was extension by the way i don't give a fuck what anyone says there and it was uh, some people say it was triple extension but no i you guys are fucking dumb you know i mean him and that other guy takashi 69 or 69 takashi is that how you say his name i don't I, know I, yeah, I'm i don't know I just they're, they're just two dudes I can't stand to fucking look at in the fucking face. <laughs> dude, dude, I wish I wish dude, if my little pony was a person, that would be that motherfucker. No, I, I it's one of those things where I'm gonna say this straight out. Rappers are getting uglier. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> you, I mean, me- you remember those desks in grade school like detention that you'd have to fucking like you'd go in and sit down, everybody's written on them and shit. Oh, exactly. That's what people look like nowadays. Yeah, they look like somebody did graffiti on their fucking face. The old <laughs> desk, yeah, that old desk in the back of the room that you had to sit out of your back. Yeah. Speaking of graffiti on people's fucking face, I was in LA. Hold on, you should finish your movie review before you get to LA. Very true. So I was in LA. <laughs> but <laughs> there was there was a TSA member. <laughs> Oh, that's how they lie. <laughs> that's like seventies porn music. No, but I'm in LA, and a fucking TSA agent had a tattoo on his face. He had a fucking tattoo on his face, and he's like, "Dude, TSA." That's, that's, shit. that's at the point where I don't feel safe anymore. <laughs> right? I just don't. I don't see it. it like I'm saying. rappers are just. I mean, it's, I remember when rappers wanted to look grimy yeah. and whatever. That was cool. Sure, that was cool. I mean, you look still look like you know. Remember Onyx? Yeah, yeah. they were kings of fucking grimy. But right. you put a fucking put a fucking suit on those motherfuckers. You, they put them in movies. Yeah, what you gonna do with all that shit on your face, guy? <laughs> How many different roles can you play in a movie with a fucking tattoo on your face? <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> it's supposed to be believable that you're somebody else. <laughs> what character would you play with a tattoo on their face? <laughs> 
a TSA agent, apparently. <laughs> I guess so. Because <laughs> it's, you know, people, even though The Rock's muscles are a trademark, he kind of looks different from movie to movie, at least a little bit, a different haircut, but that tattoo's not going anywhere. Dude, I still I still love the fucking... Or you look like Homie the Clown with all the makeup on, yeah, covering it. Right. No, I, I still love that fucking Facebook photo where it's like, does anyone else think Dwayne, the, Dwayne Johnson and The Rock look identical? <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking but you, awesome. But you know, I mean, I, I, I'll take it back to your Carter Four review. Now, that motherfucker looked like he got some years on. It, he really does. Lil Wayne is, that's, man, it looks like it's been a tough fucking life, bro. Yeah. I, I, I'm serious. Dude. If, 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 if that's what being rich would do to you, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe I don't want to be rich. I just want to stay fucking poor. <laughs> yeah, like the, Fuck that. like the two fucking wealthiest song artists of our era here, Freddie Mercury and Lil Wayne. Freddie's dead. Lil Wayne's not looking too healthy. Maybe I'll just stay at my regular ass job. Well, Lil Wayne, and and, and 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 no disrespect, but Lil Wayne, I mean, Lil Wayne, if he would have, if he would have popped off right after that Big Carter album, yeah, something would have happened. They would have caught him in the fucking street, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> some shit like that. He'd still be selling records now. Yeah, that's he'd be true. selling a shitload of records now. They'd be working on his fucking biopic. I mean, he might as well just go over there and chill with Tupac and Biggie. Yeah, I mean, because the loot, <laughs> the loot's in dying. Yeah, that's that's very true. Yeah, because uh, Tatiana or whatever the fuck his name, <laughs> that motherfucker, he, he's he's they're spinning the shit out of his records now. That is very he's true. He's probably making more money now. But, I mean, it's a great promo thing. You can only use it once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But if you want to get your fucking song played, I mean, that's the way to go. No shit. I mean, hell, they're still bumping Queen songs all the fucking time. I mean, I'm not famous enough. It would suck because I could walk outside my house, get gunned down, and they'd be like, shit. <laughs> hey, hey, you know. I'd, I, I'd, give you, I'd give your work ethic a good review. I, <laughs> I would have to ask, like, you know. At least a couple more people check out the podcast. Yeah, yeah, at least, right. at least, at least news, seven more likes. <laughs> at least newscasters does it say podcast host? Right. Oh, because people come check it out, and then you, you then you'll, you'll get rich. Yeah, very, hey, that'd be fucking. That'd awesome. be very fucking lucrative. Yeah, it re- it really would be. I'm yeah. all about that shit. Maybe you should make that happen. <laughs> <laughs> My neighborhood's too it's too civil. No yeah, yeah, I was gonna say it's nobody's too, gonna pop. It's me way too front. white. They're over not here. gonna pop me in front of my house. <laughs> That's very true. Well, I don't, I don't know. The old tenant might. Oh yeah, that 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 shit. I seen that shit the other day. <laughs> <laughs> he said I seen that shit the other day. Now, but. Uh, I, so I how was that movie? I, <laughs> I'll tell you no, I was, no, no, I no I'll sidetrack it one more time. This is what <laughs> this is exactly what it's like when you go to a George Clinton concert. He'll be playing your song, and then he'll go into some other shit for about fifteen minutes. He'll come back and be playing your song again. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, more Molly, please. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> this, so uh, this is why we can't have nice things. Go ahead All and right. finish, finish the thing. Now, I would say on a scale of one to five, I would give it probably a four star review. There's a few things about because you mentioned it before the show. Four fucking stars. Yeah, four out of five. Yeah. You mean the dude from the new Backstreet Boys doing Freddie Mercury? No, dude. No, he was not in the new back. No fucking way. New Backstreet Boys. He was in there. The, there he, will never be a new Backstreet Boys fucker. He he was in that. He was in one of them boy bands. Yeah, uh, he was the one to fucking cut out. He was like, yeah. <laughs> he was like, he was, wasn't he one? He was in One Direction, right? I have no idea. Oh. That's an ugly motherfucker if he's in one direction. Maybe it's better you don't know. Yeah, maybe. Now I would give I'd give it four out of five. Like there's there's a couple things you mentioned before the show about, you know, the biopic formula. That they're just kind of tired and played out, but you can only do so much. And let's be honest, we all know how it ended, right? AIDS. So what what do you do? Yeah, it, 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 did they show George Michael taking his place? Yeah, <laughs> no. They show, <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, I, 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 now, I think now Adam Lambert takes his place. I don't even know how those motherfuckers are even <laughs> can even get up on stage because they're hella old. Nobody but, knows, but but Adam Lambert took his place. But I was like, you know, maybe that's not a position. Maybe you should give your two three week notice too, bro. Because. <laughs> <Yeah, right. laughs> 
they've already had two lead singers and it didn't end well. <laughs> no shit, right? No, but I highly recommend it if you were uh, into Freddie Mercury's life and the band Queen or his lifestyle. Definitely go check it out. It's a, it's a fantastic movie and I highly recommend it. Did Four you out of five. did you yourself watch anything cool this week? Cuz I know we've talked about a few things, Attack on Titan and I think The One Punch Man, right? Okay, so Here's what's going on. We'll just wrap it up with this. You know what I'm saying? Get 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 ready for me to drop it on you and run to the bathroom and pull that fucker off. <laughs> drop it in the toilet. <laughs> We're going in on you right now. So, I was the anti-anime. I just really, really wasn't fuck with it. Maybe there was a couple things I liked along the way when I was a kid, but I was just like, that anime shit... It was like watching old kung fu flicks. I mean, the vocals are off. Shit's all, <laughs> shit's all fucked up, and then they're always making weird fucking noises. Yeah, and, and you you, know, you have beat up my brother. You know what fucked me up was catching a couple episodes of Pokemon. Cause Pokemon is like the worst <laughs> fucking anime. <laughs> you you can agree with me on that. <laughs> yes. You watch yeah. Pokemon, and it will make you think that this anime shit is not for me. <laughs> <laughs> but in the last couple weeks, I've been watching a couple new shows. One, they're all on Hulu. We're not sponsored by Hulu, but if you work for Hulu, and you give a fucking fuck, then fucking sponsor my show. Hell anyway, yeah. shout out to Fortress. Anyway. <laughs> I said I, I read a review on this one uh, on One Punch Man just by accident, and I said, "Well, let me check this out." They said it's like the best of the fucking best, and yes, I was thoroughly impressed. And it took me a second; I had to find an English dub of it. Make sure you do that, unless you like reading. Honestly, <laughs> the, unless you like reading, dude, nobody likes reading. The kind of intellectuals that listen to this goddamn show, you go ahead watch the subtitles. Some, some of you probably can't read, but. No, no, it's, it's a podcast. People who can't read do not download <laughs> podcasts. It, it doesn't. It just doesn't work that way because you have to read to get to the show. Anyway, no, I just got to say I have to recommend this shit. This shit is about a superhero who gives no fucking fucks about being a superhero. I mean, just. <laughs> I mean, what was that movie like? Uh, kind of reminds you, remind me, maybe a little bit of Hancock. Yeah, where this a laxadacy style, but. I mean, this shit, the animation's fucking on point. The voice acting's fucking on point. It's just dope. So, I they, they, they stuck the needle in my arm. They shot me up with a little one punch, man. I, I think I got to pause in there somewhere because that sounds kind of weird. <laughs> and then I move over to this other show called Attack on Titan. Yeah. Which, you know, which that's been around for quite a while. Yeah, it's been around, what, since like 2015 or something? Right, right about then. It's yeah. been around for a while. Ladies and gentlemen, I had my mind blown this week. I have never seen such graphic shit. And I will tell you, I've watched Sopranos, The Wire. I mean, the best of the best. I fuck with good shows. Breaking Bad. You know, I know some good shit. <laughs> I fuck with that I, good, I, good, good shit. I don't watch any of the Real Housewives. I don't watch... I barely watch The Simpsons or Family Guy anymore. I, You know, I turn my nose up at that shit. This shit, Attack on Titan, was some of the most intense shit I have watched on TV. I mean, it's just crazy. You got fucking giant monsters fucking breaking in. And that shit, like, you know, it's one thing to be watching the show and you're on your phone, which we all do right now. Yeah. When you're watching the show and you got to put your phone down and be like, what the fuck is really going on right now? <laughs> like, that shit's really going down right now. For those of you who don't know what Attack on Titan is, first of all, fuck your life. Get it together. Imagine the zombie apocalypse, but giants. Like giant fucking zombies that literally just want to eat you. Like they don't want to make you a giant zombie. They just want to shove you in their fucking gullet for lunch. And they like to eat you in two bites. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not one. <laughs> so two. usually they like to get half of you in them and then, you know, chomp <laughs> and catch you in half. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's like basically like eating you like a fucking Tyrannosaurus, but giant zombie. It's not pleasant. I thought the show was excellent. I know. I know. I know you grown ass people don't want to watch cartoons, but this is some good shit. If you're not into cartoons, there's a live action movie of Attack on Titan that came out in 2015. That is tremendous as well. And is that they, a, see, now overdub movies, those are tougher for me to do. With the cartoons, you got a little leeway on the cartoons, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but the overdub movies, I'm like, I know you didn't say that. You know, <laughs> say, say, man, I know you're not saying hey, let that. Let me tell you this straight up. I live in the first world country. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they translate shit for me. <laughs> <laughs> they translate shit If me. there's a good show in your country You know what they're gonna do They're gonna do it for me over here <laughs> <laughs> The office you know we couldn't understand That British shit you know they did They brought it here <laughs> And they made it ours Well, you know what? All in the family was a fucking British show They brought it here They made it ours <laughs> Well you know what's interesting about that Is other countries Frequently teach like their elementary school kids English Right over here, we don't fucking teach our kids shit. We teach them how to cuss. That's about it. We don't teach them anything remotely close to like what schools overseas teach. Well, uh, I don't know what to tell you. That's not my job. I was out of, I was out of elementary. What is, what is your job now? Uh, I was at an elementary school last night. Pause. Um, and for, for what reason? We're doing, uh, I, I work with a school called Bacta Rock where I teach DJing. I'm yeah. the head DJ teacher. Uh, shout out. I have great students. They shouldn't be listening to my podcast because that's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> if you got this far, turn it off. <laughs> Don't tell your mom yeah, your, your yeah. teacher cusses a lot. Um, but we're at this school and um, we're doing demos because we're promoting our school. Right. So we go to different schools. And my job was to DJ there while they set up a booth. They have we do something called instrument petting, where we bring out all these instruments. We get the kids interested in everything. Well, I kept asking my uh, my supervisor, the director was like, "So what am I doing?" Because like for me with DJ. Just like a singer or whatever, I want to know like what am I? Am I? Is this, is this going to be a mixture of adults and children? Am I going to be playing for children? You right. know, you you want to have an idea in mind on what you're going to do. Sure. Even though I, I'm not writing out a playlist, it turned out because last week I was at a Halloween dance and that was fucking fun. Yeah, yeah, we fucking kicked it. Yeah, they, everybody had a good time. The parents were all fucking happy because I threw in some fucking Halloween shit and the kids yeah. were all fucking jumping. This shit was. I guess it was just an open house of the school and the gym was just open and they thought this motherfucker was black as fuck. I, they just put they put some lights up. <laughs> Glad I brought some lights because yeah. it was dark as fuck and the gym was just some stop off point for the kids to run around. Yeah. And I just played music while they ran around and the gym was probably about 85 degrees. Jesus. And the kids are going full fucking steam, doing laps. Something they're gonna slide in and hit my speakers. I oh, mean, shit. It's just, and they're and the kids. I I don't know if they were giving out candy because some were coming up tripping out on the fucking lights and shit. <laughs> just like whoa. <laughs> so that's a uh, uh, that's how I spent my Friday night. It was not at some fancy nightclub. Dude, that's fantastic. What, what's even more shocking is, I mean, they just fucking let you guys in there, like no vetting, no nothing. They didn't ask me shit. Really? They didn't even know my name. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, like when you when I, when I book a high school like for myself yeah. to DJ, they want all this shit. They want this, that, and the third. I mean, right. social security cards. I mean, if you go to Salem, you gotta go get fingerprinted. I mean, just holy shit. Yeah, shit's shit's fucking crazy. But to walk in there and demo some fucking products, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> all they hear. All they hear is free DJ. Yeah, right. Because <laughs> they know DJs cost money. <laughs> Fucking free J? Yeah. 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 Well, whether, that kind of well, sounded dirty. Whether you good or you suck, yeah. <laughs> you cost <laughs> fucking money. And if we can get a DJ in here for free to play at least a little couple songs the kids might like, yeah. <laughs> then fuck it. It's worth, it was worth it to risk their fucking safety. I'm surprised nobody even fucking passed out from heat stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, like... At one time, there was about 50 kids in there, and I swear to God, it was at least like 85 degrees in there, you're, you, and the kids are just going. Jesus. Did it, did it like give you Vietnam flashbacks? Because I know you haven't ran in probably like 20 years. No, I did run. I ran yesterday. What do you mean you ran yesterday? I ran yesterday. From what? The cops? About 20 feet. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what I was running for, too. I'm trying to think. Yeah. Uh, oh. I forgot something. Forgot what I forgot, but I forgot something. <laughs> I so run. it wasn't an actual run. It was like a slow trot. Yeah, it, was, it was kind of a speedy trot. <laughs> speedy trot. <laughs> not, not the leaping gazelle running from the cheetah. Yeah, though, I, 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 I got the arm motion. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the arms were swaying. Like, I mean, you were power walking. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> the arms were swaying. 
No, nah, no, nah, they were full. They were, hey. they, were, they, were, they were full leaps to my fucking stride. Hey, you know what? Don't feed me this tissue of lies. Oh, so you already know. So it's about that time to go. We're about to get Hold the on, fuck out of here. Turn this shit down. You fucking hold, hold up. up. <laughs> this is the hype podcast. I am the host of No Name. I'm DJ Oso Fresh, and we're kicking it with you every single week right here on the hype. Don't forget to hit us up 503-776-0167. For whatever the fuck you want You think it We'll say it on air We don't give a shit Even dirty stuff <laughs> You said even dirty stuff Speaking of dirty stuff Shout out to Portage Property Management Handling all your property management needs In the Portland metro area Larry Can you hear my Fortress Property Promo Can you Can you hear it Larry Hit him up Fortress Property, MGMT.com or 503-752-8519 and they will take care of all your property management needs. I really don't have much to add. I got kind of long-winded at the end. I apologize. I'm sure you guys don't want to hear about how unsafe your schools are. (laughs) Hey, it's DJ Oso Fresh. This is the podcast after the podcast. And I just have to say thank you for being such good listeners. And I also want to thank the Lord for bringing the host of No Name back from his trials and tribulations driving around this great country of ours. And if you love Jesus, I want you to say amen. If you love yourself, I want you to touch yourself right now. It's so, so fresh. It's time to go. Fuck it. We'll do it live. <laughs>